Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to my garage. Yes, yes. Uh, so before we get started, before we get started, we're going to actually head down to the garage or to the junkyard. Um, excuse me, sir. I need to grab... Oh, easy. Get back on the road. I need to grab one of those red boxes um, because I want to see if I can stop that freaking... I don't even know what you call it, but the hole in the damn ground in the garage uh, where you can change oils and stuff. Uh, I want to see if I can stop it so that the damn car actually will stop. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to grab that. And then while we're down there, we are also going to see if we could find ourselves a beautiful El Camino uh, for ourselves rather than just to like do a job for because all my personal vehicles, well, I want to get all of the cars. Uh, right and for the El Camino I am going to be doing the El Camino from uh, my name is Earl uh, I thought that might be kind of fun oops easy and then uh, yeah yeah anyway so that's what we're gonna do uh, let's get down there though and I feel like there was something else I wanted to do down here I just don't remember anyway oh we should have uh, we should have did the race no we shouldn't have uh, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Easy. Slow it. Slow it down. Slow it down. Tiger. No need to be in such a crazy rush. Okay. Let's get back in here real quick. There we go. Yep. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, we'll just kill it. Uh, hit the brake. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so what I'm thinking to stop the that little ditch thing uh from the cars rolling or whatever um just putting a custom floor down and see if that will prevent it from just to continue just to slide around and move around and stuff you know what i mean uh two boxes should be fine um should they be fine though i think so i think so right yeah i think so i think so i will have to get some different materials uh for the floor oh yeah let's take this damn thing yep Okay, okay. And I think that's going to be it. I think that'll be it. Let's just run inside real quick. Let's see if we can find ourselves. Oh, yeah, I forgot my tire thing. Um, see if we can find ourselves a uh, El Camino. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I think I left it on just a four car spawn. I was doing some crap. Okay, anyway, we have El Caminos in here, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, we got three of them. Well, we lucked out or lucked in. I never understood the whole term lucked out. Out seems like a negative thing. Anyway, how much is this one? Uh, 51. Cool. How about this one? Oh, 29. Even cheaper. Okay. And what about you, old girl? Uh, 39. Uh, let's take a look. So this one doesn't have an engine. Um, it doesn't have that. Some decent stuff going on. The bed looks fine um i guess it doesn't really matter how many tires does it have three or four uh, oh god this one's really really bad this would be a work uh this would be a job and a half i'd have to buy a bunch of brand new parts and stuff i don't know if we'll get that one what about this one uh it looks good um it does have an engine one of these days i'm going to be doing a test to see about a fully built uh junkyard engine versus a full-blown uh, catalog engine because uh, if you guys remember that woof i have uh the junkyard engine ran like freaking shite um where the new one runs like well actually kind of runs too good anyway uh how much is this one 51 versus what let's take a look at it as well on the inside okay, it's missing a door okay 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 uh, let's take a look at this one real quick here 51 did i just say i don't bloody know yeah, 39. We're just going to grab this one. I don't need the engine. Uh, yeah, I don't need the engine because I'll be building my own. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and purchase this one right away. There we go. There we go. Let me go ahead and uh, ship it up to the garage. Oh, great. I, did, I didn't move any of those cars. I hope they don't land. It doesn't land on top. I'm going to save just in case. Come on, baby. Save it already, would you? Okay, there we go. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, let's just ship it up there. It should be fine. Uh, I guess we'll just find out once we get up there. Anyway, I think we lost a little bit of money on it. I don't I don't remember what the hell I just paid for the damn thing. Anyway, 
uh, tow to the, I could always tow it to the service center sign. No, I think I have that other car in the way. Anyway, that should be fine. That should be fine. I think I am going to actually take another box or two, uh, because I don't know, I might want to do a little bit of building across the street from us, uh, to get, uh, some room for our, our cars to just kind of sit. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay. There we go. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Let's get up there and, uh, get this thing a rolling, right? Indeed. Okay. Come on. Get in the damn car. Okay. Start it. And I think that's all we need. Uh, release the brake. Nope. Forward, not reverse. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Let's get back. How long? Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's get back. Easy. Easy. All right, all right. Okay, don't fly off the edge, and we're dead. We are dead. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hit the brake, hit the brake. Okay, why? I can't look down. I can't look down. Get out of the seat. Put the gosh damn brake on. Damn it. Damn it. See, that's what happens uh, when you dick around. You dick around enough, you're going to find out, right? Is that what they say? Anyway, no, no. Scooch over. Okay, we need to get this up there should be fine it should be fine i didn't like really cause any damage uh to the car except for i don't know if we're actually going to be able to get this out of here is there another way oh yeah we're just going to push it out that way um let's go ahead and move it over there we go there we go come on baby come on no no get out of the damn ocean the sea whatever okay we should be able to push it up this right my door was shut. Okay, come on, baby. Let's see if my brakes worked fine. Um, I should be able to just jump. Okay, we should be able to get out by driving it at this point. Okay, get in. No, no, no. A little bit close up here. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Okay, there we go. Shut the freaking door. There we go. Uh, let's throw it in the first. See if we can get this thing out. Release the brake and... Oh, yeah, we got it. 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 Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> let's just get home. Easy. 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 There we go. We got it. We got this. All right. All right. Okay. Well, I've never uh, drove with this view before, so we're just going to stay here. Anyway, how you guys doing? How you guys doing today? All right. All right. Good to hear. Good to hear. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, let's go. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hit the brake. It'd be cool to actually uh, put a little road that goes through there. You know what I mean? I might have to install the infinite build uh, option at some point and do something crazy like that. There's no way that I think I want to actually pay for uh, a bridge like that anyway any bloody way we are back and it looks like it actually spawned in a good spot let's just set this here um there we go shut it off get out of the damn seat okay okay anyway yeah it, it came over here fantastic so i went ahead and got the color codes uh for the car um, so we're just going to buy some paint real quick and we're going to see how well uh, the colors match up. Uh, let's just go ahead and spray the car off first though um, so we could really get a good look at it. Uh, we're mostly going to need the fender, the door, and the hood. It seems like with this car these are the three things that are different colors. Um, I couldn't tell from the... Uh, online images if the hood in the in the bed was the same color or not um but anyway uh oh crap i forgot i have to go across the street let's go across the street order these paints up real quick and we're going to see if these colors actually match to the car from the television show because it's a red car blue door and some pictures it looks like a green hood but i'm pretty positive it's a gray hood I am a little bit colorblind, uh, a red green colorblind, so it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, let's that go ahead and do nice this. Of tires if you need some. Uh, no. Okay, okay, let's do this thing. Okay, El Camino. So let's do the car color first. 
uh, possibly uh, we will buy that spray can because I think I only have one. Okay, no, I have two colors for the red. Uh, let's just look at this other one real quick. This one's a little bit darker. I think I like this one better. It looked like it looked a little more closer. I think the other color was a little bit washed out anyway. Uh, let's grab the color code for the door. Um, there's this blue, and then let's look at the other one real quick. Hmm, yeah, those are tough ones. I'm not too sure. I haven't really seen the show, so I think I like the other one better. Uh, well, I don't know, actually. Anyway, we'll just grab this one for the door. Um, let's take a look at the hood now. I have uh, two codes for that as well. I basically just took the image, threw it into some editing software, and then got the little eyedropper tool to take a look at the actual color code. Okay, so this would be the gray for the first image, which is the kind of washed out one. Uh, let's look at this other one. I think this one looks a little more like it. Bloody seem the exact same. Hold on a second. Okay, I didn't move very much. I think I like this one anyway better. Yeah, see, the bed looked a little bit darker. Anyway, let's grab all these paints real quick. Uh, let's take them over there. Let's go ahead and throw some paint on the two. Oh, you know what? Uh, before we go, I also got the exact same colors and put them in decals. I got a um, station out back if you need it. Yes. What? Chroming? No, I don't need chroming station. By the way, uh, if you didn't know, chrome does not actually add to the car's value. So if you're trying to make money, uh, do not chrome your items. It doesn't seem like it makes a difference. Um, it would be only for personal vehicles. I was thinking about trying to paint this to make it look like um, the Griswold's uh, wagon from the vacation movies, uh, National Lampoon's vacation movies, you know? Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and drop all these. There we go. Let's get the decal out of the way. Let's grab the red first and see how this looks. Okay, okay. Let's grab the blue, which would be the door. Okay, that seems a little light, doesn't it? Or does it? Mm. You guys will have to tell me. Uh, and then let's check the grays. That looks a little more white rather than gray. Uh, let's check this one. Okay, this seems to look a little bit better. Um, and then the bed was also the same, uh, same color. Okay, okay. Um, I'll have to see the blue again. It seems a little bit on the light side. Uh, we'll have to take a look, but check it out. What I got here. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, see? So I got this red, right? Um, that's not mine. Yeah, there's the red again. There's the blue, and it's a sticker, right? Uh, that one definitely matches up correctly. Yeah, these things are like random. It doesn't actually go in line. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, actual gray for that. Anyway, uh, I have one more color I want to show you guys in the sticker box here. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Check it out. So I actually have this black. Um, the reason I have these stickers is, so, for instance, uh, you know, with like a rally car, you know how you could get the little flares for the wheels and stuff? Um, but whenever you paint them a different color, so like, say, if you have a red car and you paint the little trims or the flares black, it lowers your color condition. Well, I got these colors, this black one especially, so I could actually paint certain parts black and it not be against the color condition because uh, it's just a freaking sticker. What do you guys think? Anyway, uh, let's drop that down. Let me know if these colors look right to you. Uh, for those of you that do know the car from My Name is Earl, the El Camino, um, I feel like, let me know, does this one seem a little bit too light? And how does the other colors look? The red and the gray. Um, and let me know about that blue. Anyway, anyway, that's it. That's it. This is gonna be our personal car. Uh, so it doesn't matter too much, but let's go ahead and get this pushed across the street real quick here. Not across the street, uh, just over here, over here. I should probably put all my cars on this side of the lot. Anyway, let's get these paints um, together. Uh, you know what? I don't like this one, so we're just going to chunk this bad boy uh, right away into the other pile. And the other paints we're going to keep together as those will be uh, My Name is Earl paint colors and let me know also if you know the show is the hood and the bed uh the exact same color i couldn't find a picture with them together uh, anyway anyway and it's hard to tell with pictures because it's all about exposure the, you know the camera that they took the picture with um you know there's so many different variables 
uh, that can make a thing look off. Anyway, let's just lay those up here. Those are name. Our name is Earl Freaking Post uh, Paints, and let's get started. Let's get started. I'm not going to. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab one of these real quick, and we are going to actually do a little bit of testing today. Um, let's first off open this thing. Open. There we go. And I do want to, in fact, uh, put some stairs back here just so we could get out. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, I think what we'll do is we're going to get it connected up top first, like that. Beautiful. And then we'll connect it down here at the bottom, uh, like so. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Yep, there we go. So now we don't have to worry about getting stuck down there. Um, and now we're going to switch this to a floor piece real quick. Uh, the big floor piece. And we are going to stack these on the, to the sides. Um, and make sure and see if we could actually... The car won't slide. But that looks like a perfect freaking match. Uh, let's just come out again like so. Uh, we will have to get some new paint. Or... Um, floor materials so this will look better uh because obviously wood is ugly but there we go we'll do the same thing on this side i'm just going to line it up perfectly like that oh maybe we'll use the uh okay we're going to grab another one maybe we'll use the metal um for the flooring and there we go there we go okay well let's go ahead and finish off this side uh, we'll put one there and there okay and then i just have to fill in this little spot um i mean i don't technically have to but let's go ahead and do this side as well it's kind of clipping through but i think it might look okay nope i don't like it um that's okay that's okay maybe we'll find something that kind of uh, looks a little bit better anyway there we go Okay, and then we just have to park the car over top of that and see if it'll actually stay stopped. Anyway, before we do that, uh, we are going to, in fact, look underneath this car and get the uh, bottom end done first. And then we will, uh, once we get the bottom end done, we'll park it over top of this and see if it actually works. Uh, but we do need to go ahead and trash our oils uh, as they are trash, right? Indeed. Okay, there we go. And let's take a look here. So we need a rear shock, a brake line. Okay. Okay, okay. So one brake line, one rear shock. Calipers look good. Let's take a look at the car real quick. So it's actually in pretty good shape uh, for the most part. A drive axle. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab our wrench and just start taking these parts off so we could... Uh, get a nice list together. Okay, and we do have our wrench over here, so that's good. And yeah, yeah, let's just take everything off that is bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the shock first. Yep, and then we'll stick that over here. And then what else did we say? Uh, let's see, let's see. The brake line. Looks like, is that the... That the fuel line I see it looks like it so a brake line let's check these other brake lines real quick um okay so we're gonna need two brake lines there we go yeah just two okay okay uh what else was back here um the calipers looked good the brakes look good differential looks good let's take off the drive shaft right that one, two, and there we go. And then let's grab the drive shaft from this side. There she is. Okay. And then we'll put this here. So two brake lines, a shock, and a drive shaft. Okay, so we got two brake lines, a rear shock, and a drive shaft. We changed it to a BART. Uh, let's continue on. I've seen some more bad stuff up here. Yep, okay. So it looks like a front shock and a front control. Uh, we also have a strut rod here. Uh, let's pull the strut off first. Uh, we're going to do all the engine stuff after. Uh, there's a shock. Oops, easy. Did I fall in the hole? No, no, no. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. I might have to uh, do the whole freaking 
uh, thing. Anyway, uh, strut rod and a shock. Okay, strut front shock. Um, what else do we have? An upper control arm. Let's go ahead and grab this off. Uh, the carrier hub looks fine. I'm going to pull off this here. Yeah, we're going to have to either completely lay this down across the whole shop or, um, or something anyway. So we got a front upper control. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look here. Um, this, uh, let's take a look at this side real quick. It looks like both hubs are bad. So we're gonna have to take off the tires, uh, but the carrier hubs themselves are good. So let's just go ahead and take off the front tires real quick. Okay, there's one. And there is the second tire. Uh, that tire is actually pretty bald. Um, we'll see if that counts toward the five stars or not. But uh, yeah, let's take off the rotor uh, first. So let's grab our screwdriver. That's an air pump. Screwdriver. That's a move tool. Screwdriver. There we go. Uh, yep, let's loosen this off. Uh, we should have probably taken off the brakes first, uh, but that's okay. So there's that. Yeah, that hub is definitely bad. Let's take it off on this side. And there we go. There we go. Lay it down. And yep, that hub is well. Uh, let's just grab our wrench. And then we will put these onto the list. Uh, but there's one. And there's two. There is two. So let's go ahead and put two front hubs. We got the front upper in the shock. Okay, can we bag all of this? That's the question. We could bag this, 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 this. Yep. Yep. Okay, we can. We can actually uh, bag everything. Like, is that a <laughs> freaking welding rod? Oh, the shelf's not there anymore. Oh, I wish you left that shelf there. Uh, that shelf was actually very handy. Anyway, we'll leave that there. Okay, so we could actually buy all these parts over at the store without taking the car, uh, which is excellent. So let's just double check real quick. Uh, make sure we got everything. Uh, the fuel line, that'll be when we do the engine, uh, turn the lights back on. You know what? We could put some upside down lights on the floor and that should help with, um, uh, light lighting underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go grab all these parts real quick and then we will come back put them on and then we'll put the car over top of that and see if it actually is stable. Yeah, let's go over there real quick. Let's grab the parts and we'll be a right back, right back indeed. We're gonna grab two brake lines, front shock, rear shock. Uh, we need a drive shaft, right? We need a upper control arm. There it is, okay. Uh, we do need a strut. Uh, two front hubs, which is right here. And there we go. Okay, awesome. Thanks, mate. We'll see you later. Let's get over there and get these put on, and then we'll bring the car down and slap it onto the good old dugout. I don't know what you call that. Um, Yeah, I, I read it in one of the comments, and I can't remember what the hell you called it, but uh, it's like a garage dugout. Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and I'll put this on right away. There she is. We'll grab our wrench again. Get it tight, of course. Uh, one, two, and three. Go to this side. One, two, and tres. There we go. And then let's just drop all the rest of these parts. There we go. We'll start with the good old hubs. Get these on first. There we are. Uh, same with this side. And then we'll do the control arm next on this side. There we go. And up we daisy, uppy, da uppy daisy, upsy daisy. There we go. Yep, and get you tight there and there. Let's go ahead and grab the rear shock, I guess, uh, since it was in my hand first. And bloody hell, get on there. Nope, nope. Okay, get on. There we go. Tighten it up top. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the oops, front shock. And, oops, easy pal. And there she is. Uh, tight and tight. Fantastic. Uh, let's go and put these brake lines on right away. I think it was on the, yep, this side here. 
Yeah, just do it. There we go. And then we need to grab the brake line for the back. Uh, right here. Nope. Tighten, please. There we go. And bada bing, bada boom, and the strut. The strut. Did this one have? Okay, it does have the other side. Okay. Uh, sometimes I forget to look uh, to see if it actually has all of the parts. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at it. 17.5. Uh, doesn't seem to be much different, but we're going to put these rotors on first. Uh, yep. Tighten. Mm hmm. And then this rotor as well. We'll slap the tires back on. There we go. Get the wrench back in hand. And let's put these tires back on. Uh, we'll put the bad one on the left. Uh, tighten, please. And we'll see if we could remember. Uh, well, we could always look at it as well. So, yeah, because this is a bad tire. So I don't know if it's going to count toward a good, um, what you call it. Anyway, the overall condition is actually up to a four star now so anyway that should be it let's go ahead and drop it uh and then we're going to park it over top of this thing and see if it will actually uh slide around still there we go let's go ahead and uh well let's actually try to run it uh, because we know that it ran like crap and i was suspecting the reason was due to the drive shaft uh, but this will be a great, uh, great, great way to test and see if that theory is uh, accurate or not. Am I in the front seat? I am. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Throw it into reverse. Uh, release the brake. Um, I feel like it's still not running properly. Hopefully we don't get hit out here. Okay. Okay, definitely wasn't the drive shaft. It seems like a transmission issue, but uh, let's just get this over top like so. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit the brake. Turn it off. And then, of course, hit that brake. Uh, let's get out of the seat. There we go. Let's go ahead and push it forward a bit. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, uh, dude. It doesn't, it doesn't, sli it doesn't. Okay, easy. Nope, never mind. Never mind. It still moves still moves like the bastard it is okay anyway um what is going on over here did i forget to put a, sh a spring does this car not have springs on it damn it anyway let's get back in let's push it backwards a bit nope it didn't help any it did not help any it still just moves uh like like it's on freaking uh like it has no brakes oh the tire is low uh let's go ahead and pump up the tire real quick uh, make sure that it's that um but i didn't see shocks i don't think these have shocks actually so yeah no these don't have shocks do they just the leaf spring and uh well they have shocks they don't have springs rather anyway any bloody way uh let's get this one pumped and this one here Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see if it's even now. Um, it looks like it's still sagging in the back. Oh yeah, something's definitely not right. Let's take a look under here. Uh, leaf spring. Oh, damn, I didn't even notice that leaf spring was busted. Uh, my idea with the floor did not work, so I'll probably just destroy all that uh, since it doesn't bloody matter anyway. Uh, let's just scoot this over just a bit, though, um, so it doesn't fall in the hole. There we go. And yeah, look, it still just moves like nobody's business. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I guess I could make the floor higher. Um, but, you know, maybe I will leave it because, look, I know my head still gets stuck. Son of a bastard. Yep, look at it. Son of a bastard, man. Why? Why? Anyway, anyway, it is what it is, right? Uh, let's just close the stupid thing. Scrubber Jack. Uh, because we do need to replace that. Yeah, I could try to make it higher. I guess I'll do that and see if that makes a difference. It's kind of a waste of money, but whatever. Let's get this jacked up. Let's get that leaf spring switched out real quick. And then we'll get all of the engine parts. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get down here. It should just be this bolt. Nope, this one. And... 
Uh, that one there. Okay. Damn it. Get out. Okay. There we go. And uh, the four on the bottom, uh, which is right here. Two, three, and four. Very good. There we go. So we just need one one rear leaf spring. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it today real quick here. One, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go grab that leaf spring right away. Um, should we just pull it off of one of our cars? Uh, we could, we could, if we even have any good ones. Uh, we do have one here, actually. Yeah, let's just pull it off our car. Why not? Uh, there's no reason not to. I mean, we will have to eventually get new ones uh, for ourselves anyway, so not the biggest a deal, right? Let's see. It depends on how easy it is to get it, by the way. Okay, it's freaking easy, so one, okay, loosen, please. One, two three and four there we go we got a good leaf spring here uh, we're just going to go ahead and toss it on now there we go tight there we go and then let's see if we can get in there without flipping through the ground uh through the floor nope you're back you're back and there we go one two three and four okay they're all tight they are all tight uh, we can release this now and this should be sitting up nice and straight now all right fantastic uh freaking fantastic looks amazing uh yeah this thing uh, this floor dugout whatever the hell it's called it sucks balls uh, i think what we'll do is try to lift it up at just like a whole stairs worth of height and then we'll have to just put some ramps down and we'll see if that works um, which will actually be better for us because it'll give us a little bit more clearance for our big fat uh, heads, right? Anyway, uh, you know what? Let's just try that first before. Let's take a look at the engine, I guess. Uh, we need wires, um, an ignition coil, fuel line, um, intake manifold, a battery, um, a crank pulley, uh, possibly pistons and stuff. Can we actually get our heads in there to find out? Oh, we can. Um, rockers look good. Um, what is that thing called? Head gasket looks good. Spark plugs look fine enough. Uh, we'll have to really get in there to see about the actual pistons. Let's go ahead and crank ourselves up a little bit. Let's see if we can take a peek in there. Okay, so piston, piston. It's better to be pissed off than piston. I mean, pissed on anyway. There we go. Okay, pistons all look good. Uh, actually, we could probably repair this real quick. But anyway, let's pull off the filter first. Uh, yep, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. This little baby, baby filter. That filter does look good. Why can't I grab? I swear to God, this damn... It's fucking... Will you get in my hand, you stupid bastard? Anyway, sorry for the language. Uh, just frustrating sometimes and you can't pick the damn thing up anyway uh, what is this by the way look oh oh it just went through the floor wonderful any bloody way let's go ahead and grab off the rest of the filter i guess we could have left the whole filter on um just take off the carburetor yeah yeah that, that's fine that's fine we'll just leave that whole unit together in fact we're just going to reassemble this whole thing now uh, and then, yeah, that'll work just fine. Let's pull off this intake manifold. Um, there we go. One, two. I don't know if there's bottom bolts. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we need an intake uh, manifold. Um, yep, yep. Let's write that down real quick. There we go. Inline six intake mani. Uh, petties and manis, right? Okay, let's go ahead and pull off the battery. Uh, we're going to put that on. Well, actually, we don't even need to buy a battery uh, as as I have a battery. Uh, we're going to leave this here, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I have this battery over here we could just put on. Um, it's in excellent condition. Fantastic. There we go. We can go ahead and get that tightened back up. Uh, one and a two and a three and a four. Here we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's pull off these wires, right? Yep, those are junk. Uh, so we got to get wires. Let's grab the fuel line first. Uh, there we go. 
fuel line. Um, I feel like I have fuel lines. We'll have to go look. Uh, let's grab this ignition coil. Yep, ignition coil uh, and wires and fuel line. Okay. So what is that? Ignition coil wires fuel line. There we go. We got ignition coil wires and fuel line. Um, what else? What else? Uh, transmission it does look good. Starter looks good. Alternator looks good. Fuel pump does look good. The distributor oil filter all look good. Um, okay, let's go ahead and scroll down a bit. We are going to grab the crankshaft pulley. And I can't tell if that belt's good or not. Um, let's just pull this off first. Come on, baby. Get in my damn hand. Okay, we're just going to set that down because it's being a punk. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. There we go. Uh, crankshaft pulley. We, ne we need to check out the crankshaft and the camshaft. Okay, we got the crank pulley. Uh, yeah, let's take see if we could take a look at the cam. Okay, the crankshaft looks fine. Uh, we could tell that from here. No, but I can't see the cam. Uh, let's get in here a little bit different here. Let's see. Get in there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay. The camshaft uh, does look good. Yeah, it looks good. And the crankshaft as well. Okay, okay. And all the pistons, I believe, did look good. So, right? Yeah, all the pistons do look excellent. Uh, yeah, that all looks good too. Right? Yeah, it does. It does, actually. Okay, let's get ourselves out. There we go. Uh, did we get everything on the list? We got the crank pulley. Yeah, we got everything. It's a very small list. Uh, can we make sure we pick up everything? Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, we can pick up the wires. Fantastic. What about this? Okay, we can pick it up. All of it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go grab all these items real quick. Uh, come back, put them back together, and see if it runs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. We're going to go ahead and grab the stupid wiper blade while we're there. Yep. Take it off, please. There we go. Nope. Nope. Well, come on, get in my gosh damn hand. Why does this thing sometimes like to work and it doesn't? There it is. Jesus, God. Okay, can we pull off the wiper blade itself? Hold on. Okay, we can. Okay, we just need the arm. A uh, wiper arm. Okay, we got the wiper arm on the list. Let's just go across the street, grab all these parts. And yeah, we will be back. We will be back. We're going to double check inside here real quick. A uh, dash looks good. Ceiling looks good. We still need a ceiling for that Chad, by the way. Uh, steering looks good. Shifter. What about the shifter? Um, the shifter looks good. Okay. Brake pedals look good. Okay. The hell is that by the way anyway that should be it that should be it door panel look good on that other side by the way i can't tell um nope we do need one left door panel about it wrong Panel. anyway it's fine it's fine uh, there we go why is this off is it missing something back here look or is that just is it just painted wrong i think it's just painted wrong okay and the fuel tank did look good by the way yep okay okay uh, let's go across and grab all that stuff, and we'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and put the door panel on first. Um, I didn't even check the damn wipers. Uh, not the wipers, but the rollers. Uh, let's get this door panel off. Uh, can we see if the roller works? Okay, this one does. Fantastic. Uh, let's put the unmatching door panel on. And what about this side? Um, let's just check the roller. Okay, that works as well. Fantastic. Uh, I don't know if that's a bad what you call or not. But anyway, let's open the hood up. Let's drop the rest of these parts. There we go. There's the wiper. Uh, we are going to put the blade back on. And let's get this attached first. There we go. It's not a matching one. I guess I should have got the black one, but whatever. I don't think it matters too much. Okay, where the hell is it? There it is. Okay. Tight. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's drop the... We already got the rest of the stuff dropped. Let's put on the... I guess we'll just start with whatever. Uh, we'll put the intake manifold on first. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, let's grab the good old crank pulley next. 
And we need to look and see about those gears, by the way. Uh, let's see. Okay, that pulley actually looks good. Okay, I think the camshaft pulley looked fine. Um, let's see if we can look at it real quick. Okay, yeah, there's the camshaft and the pulley does look fine. Okay, let's put the crank pulley on. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put the ignition coil on. Yep. Right over here. There we go. Tight. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's grab the brake line, I suppose. Or not the brake line, but the fuel line. There it is. And tight. There we go. Uh, this is for a V8, so we'll just slap this puppy over here for now. The uh, wires and the wires main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, damn it. Why did I buy a wires main? Oh, no wonder why I had one extra. Uh, it was supposed to just be spark plug wires, not the wires main, you dummy. It's fine. It's fine. Don't call yourself a dummy. Okay, let's go ahead and keep these for another car, I suppose. And let's go ahead and... Put the carburetor back on. And that should be the whole thing, right? We'll see. We will see. That one, two, three, and four. Okay, is that everything? Let's take a look real quick. Uh, yes, that should be completely everything. Let's take a look at the car. It's still at a four star, so there's still stuff that is definitely uh, wrong with this thing, right? That's not meeting the eye. Eye of the Tiger, right? Indeed, indeed. Okay. Give me a second. Let me uh, just look this over for a minute. Uh, tire. Well, that might be the tires. It might be. How many other tires? Okay, we got two balds. Yeah, we have two completely bald tires. Um, I might actually have those. So, of course, it needs a paint job, uh, which we could definitely do uh, pretty easily. Okay, well, I don't see anything visually. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this puppy started and see how it sounds. Yeah, let's throw it in reverse. Oh. Nope, it definitely does not want to move. Okay, let's throw it in first. Oh yeah, no. Okay. Okay, get it back. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think it's the clutch, uh, plates? Let's get it back up onto the lift real quick. Yeah, yeah, let's get this up here. Okay, 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 let's get out. Yeah, something is definitely off on this thing, uh, majorly. Major, major, majorly. Okay, okay, let me get the paint code real quick. Uh, we are going to give this a quick paint job. Um, it'll be a flash of an eye. Just kidding. There's not much to paint. Uh, two doors and a hood, so it's not like it's going to take too, too long. Uh, but let me get the code. Uh, A6B6D7, and I'll be back. I do have... Okay, it does have exhaust. Um, I did grab uh, the clutch parts, so let's just replace all the clutch uh, parts real quick. Um, yeah, the pressure plate flywheel and the clutch plate. Uh, we do got the paint here. Okay, and we got the wrench in there on accident. Uh, yeah, let's pull this transmission off. Uh, something is definitely not right. Um, it could be this transmission. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen, like, a transmission texture uh, look bad. You know what I mean? So I don't know if, like... These things actually have... Oh, I think it's the wrong transmission, actually. Look at this thing. This looks like a V8 transmission. Um, let's get this pulled down real quick. Uh, but then again, um, regular inline six tr transmissions might actually be compatible with V8s. I don't know. I haven't really worked on them. Anyway, is that it? Did we get it all? Do we have to pull off the damn starter? Oh, we... No. We don't. We just have to take this off. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, no. This definitely works. Uh, yeah, I can't... I don't know how to tell if a transmission's good or bad. Get into the light, please. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Yeah, you'd think something would be rusty on these things. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull off the clutch parts real quick. Okay, yeah. Let's pull these off and just swap them out. 
Uh, they look fine, but I don't know. There and there. Okay, pull this off. There we go. Yeah, this looks like it's fine, right? These are the brand new ones, so flip around, you bastard. Yeah, it looks fine. Anyway, any bloody way. Where the hell did the other part go? Yeah, this looks fine as well. Um, let's pull this one off. Yep, yep, okay, okay. We're gonna put these ones on. I might have to just pull the whole engine out and do some engine work uh, separately, you know what I mean? Instead of doing it on the car. Anyway, let's get this tight. There we go, and just the two up top there. Okay, there we go. Um, Now, I'm gonna go to the garage real quick and see if we have another transmission. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely strange on how that thing drives. Uh, turn the light on. Where are they? We got two of them over there, but I think they're both for diesels, so... Oh, uh, no, this one would work. It's a four-speed. That one's just a diesel. Okay, let's just put this one on, and uh, we'll see how it runs. Yeah, I don't know if I've actually ever seen a bad transmission, to be honest with you. Um, so they might not have the... He might not have it, like, coded yet uh, for it to look awful. Uh, the textures that is anyway any bloody way uh, there we go okay we got that one what about this one hurry hurry We're running out of time okay what the hell ever uh let's grab this starter off of here real quick yep uh where is it where is it uh right here there we go put this starter on there we go um one, two, and three. There we go. Okay, and we just have to get the one uh, transmission um, bolt on the top. And there we go. There's the last bolt for that. Uh, let's give it a quick paint job, and then we'll run it again and see if it uh, actually uh, runs any better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's the paint. Uh, let's just do a quick paint on it, uh, just like this. And there we go. There we go. It is all painted. And uh, yeah, we went ahead and changed out some tires as well. But the whole car is at five stars now. So we're going to see if uh, changing out that transmission and all that uh, did anything. I need to figure out a better uh, spot for all of our cars that are finished. Uh, we're just going to kind of scoot this in just a bit. And then, yeah, let's see if it runs any better with the new transmission. Uh, well, it's not, I don't know if it's new or not because I got it from my garage. Um, but, yeah, we're going to find out. Let's, we have to move these back real quick. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's jump in and see if it runs better. If it doesn't, then something is uh, royally wrong with this car. Uh, let's get it started. It does sound different, right? Or does it? Oh, no. Oh, it runs worse than before. Oh, what the hell am I missing? Anyway, get out, get out. Shoot down below what the hell I'm missing. Uh, we got the freaking. Oh, did I tighten up the, um, you know what? I don't know if I tightened up the transmission, uh, the bolt bolts or the drive shaft. Let me get that uh, tightened up real quick and we'll see if that was the issue, but I don't think so. Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Get down. Oh, yeah, we didn't tighten it. Uh, all those up there are tight. Let's bring it back down and see if it runs now. Okay, let's get in and uh, let's find out. Let's find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, stop it. Okay, okay. Okay, throw it in reverse. Okay, reverse. Do I have a... Oh, you know what I... the problem is? It has the wrong pedals, you guys. I'm pretty sure it has the wrong pedals. Hold on. Do you, I don't see a clutch down there. It doesn't have a freaking... the right pedals. Okay, come on. Yeah, it has automatic pedals. <laughs> okay, turn it off. Yeah, let's get out. Get out, get out, get out. Yeah, check it out. It has automatic pedals. <laughs> was this an automatic transition? Hell no, it wasn't because I was shifting gears. Yeah, yeah, so it needs an automatic 
freaking transmission. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to keep this one. Let me just do this real quick and then we'll be right back. I'm going to put this back in there. Okay. No, no, no. And uh, put an automatic transmission in. No, get back. Okay. There we go. We got the automatic transmission in now. Uh, let's take this puppy for a spin and let's make sure it's still five stars. It is fantastic. Yeah. Let's take this thing for a spin and uh, it should run just fine um, now. So let's see. Let's see. Reverse. Okay. How do I shift into reverse? Bloody hell. Um, we're in park. Nope. That's lights. Okay, there's reverse. Okay. Uh, break. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take this for a little test drive. Um, how do I shift again? There we go, drive. Okay. Okay, okay. Yep, there she is. Okay, let's get this thing turned around and we're done. Yeah, boy. Okay, okay. I might have to actually. I have never. I haven't drove. Uh, I have not really drove too many automatics in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Well, there we go. We figured it out. We figured it out. Let's get this thing parked, and we are done. We are done for the episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, <laughs> and of course, uh, just like always. We will see you guys in the next one. All right, later on, guys. Later freaking on. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Adios, adios.